Hello and welcome Pasolivo family. I'm Eleanor and happy Friday. This is another episode of Pasolivo Kitchen Cuisine. Uh, today we're going to be working with Chef Andre at uh, the 15C Wine Shop and Bar. And I'm extremely excited because he is working with beets, with goat cheese, with, I mean, just all the yummy stuff. He's bringing in our tangerine olive oil and our fig balsamic, which by the way, is my favorite. You're not supposed to have favorites, but I totally do. I just had lights go out on me. I don't know if they go back on or not. Let's find out. Um, so Chef Andre is, uh, he actually started in Russia and we got the pleasure just recently of, of getting him here in the Central Coast after he worked in France uh, as a, a helper to a chef, a chef helper. I wasn't able to pronounce, it's okay. Um, chef de partie? I'm, you know what, I'm slaughtering it. I'm sorry, friend, every French person on the planet. Um, uh, for a two-star chef, Michelin chef. So he's been there, he knows his way around the kitchen. That is his passion and I'm super excited to have him on today to, uh, to talk to us and um, make a chef quality uh, salad with our olive oil, with our yeah. Hi, welcome, happy Ooh. Friday. Thank you, Eleanor, how are you? Good, thank you. I'm so, I'm really looking forward to this. I love beets, but uh, I make them and then stare at them and, and then don't know what to do with them. So I'm excited that you are giving me a reason to make them again and uh, pulling all of these ingredients together. It sounds amazing. Uh, Chef, I was just speaking a little bit about your background. Uh, I mean, we, we stole you away from Russia. So, it, you, and it's been a long, so you, you were Russia, France, and then here, correct? So, yes, it was Russia uh, here when I was uh, only 18 years old um just needed a change and then um you know i hopped between the states for my previous uh job as a retail buyer i did that for 23 years and then i really got exhausted and i decided actually my wife and i decided that you know maybe it's time to for change and um i changed I started following my true passion, which is food. Um, and I, you know, I, I went to school. I uh, worked two jobs and then I went to France for several months. I worked for two uh, star Michelin chef, Denis Petison, at his, one of his restaurants in uh, South France. And then I came back and, uh, you know, a year later, here I am. As uh you can see. So how did, how did we end up being so lucky? I mean, I know that the Central Coast is a little addictive uh, and, and one that you fall in love with. Is that how we ended up being so lucky to have you here? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it really is um, not really, well, maybe it is a combination of, of luck and uh, a little bit of determination, but I, um, I interviewed here for another job, which I, which I got. And it was just the right time at the right place. The previous chef who was here for two years uh, decided to pursue the other opportunities. He moved out of state and he was an incredible chef and did a lot of wonderful things here. And then uh, the owner, um, her name is Ellie, she called me and she, you know, asked me if I wanted to come down. And um, I you know, I came down and we talked and it, it, it was just the right fit for both of us. You, you mentioned Ali, she's the owner and sommelier that is for 15C uh, wine shop and bar in Templeton, downtown Templeton, you can't miss it guys. Uh, so she opened 15C in 2007. So it's been, it's been a staple in downtown Templeton for quite some time. It absolutely is, it, it absolutely has. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the great thing about this, this, our company is we, we only at the beginning of grow, uh, growth. I mean, we have been growing um, consistently. And this, is, this the current location that we are in right now 
is actually our second location. We've been here for probably seven or eight years. And, you know, and Ellie does absolutely incredible things uh, with the local wineries and local businesses, promoting her business, promoting other businesses. Um, it's, it's, it really is a great, great place to work. And I will, I, I saw this yesterday and it got me very excited. You guys are now doing family dinners. So $40 family dinners, uh, pizzas, burgers, ric ricotta. Ricotta donuts. That donuts. is correct. That is, that is becoming um, a <laughs> customer's, customer's favorite. Yes. Uh, yes, I can see why that would be the case. Uh, so that's definitely on my to-do list. Um, if, if I'm lazy and am not going to pull together what you're going to pull together for us today, that will be my next option. I love okay. that you guys have that as an option. And it does show exactly how you are uh, kind of moving and weaving with the environment we're in today. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice to see that because we, all of us around here want to make sure that our neighbors thrive and, and we, we have you all for a long time. So I, I'm excited that you guys were able to do that as well. Uh, you're doing outside dining right now. Is that correct? Um, yes, we are doing the uh, outside dining. Uh, we are, we are officially have been reopened on Monday. So we are all set. Uh, we have heaters, we have fireplace, we have beautiful lighting. Uh, we also doing everything. Uh, all of our food is for to go. Oh, as perfect. well as obviously all the wines. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, we will be running, um, uh, yeah, February will be running a special, anything that is to go uh, food-wise will be 20% off uh, entire month, as well as uh, if, if, if a customer buys a case of wine, it will be 20% uh, off as well for entire month of February. Wait a second. Uh, does that mean that uh, people's Valentine's dinners just got a lot easier? A lot easier, and I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna uh, tell you a little bit of secret. I haven't really tell, uh, told anyone, including Ellie. But uh, I'm going to do. Um, uh, um, I'm planning to do a very beautiful charcuterie board for for uh, Valentine's Day. Um, I ordered a heart shaped uh, cheese. Uh, which has actually been flown in, not specifically for me, but it has been flown in and will be, uh, we'll have it uh, in the first week of um, February. So I am planning to do uh, a special Valentine's Day themed uh, charcuterie board and uh, pair it with uh, one of the bubbles that uh, Ellie will oh. recommend. So that you're the sounds... first one to hear this. That sounds uh, amazing and I, I don't mean to pinpoint the men out there, but men out there, <laughs> if that's, that's you right. seriously, right. you've got you've got discounts going on, you've got everything, you just have to like call them up and order and it's just provided for you. Romance in a box set for you here. 15C Winery is really trying to help you out, guys. So if you can't figure it out at this point, then I don't know what to tell you. Uh, well, totally thank agree. you so much. You're hand-holding a lot of people out there, and I think we all appreciate it, guys, girls, all of us. Um, if, if you're solo, buy it for yourself. Take care of yourself. It's all about self-love right now, especially right now with the, everything going on. Take care of yourself. If you, you, you want to have bubbly and a heart-shaped cheese on Valentine's weekend, get after it. I, I fully support yep. that. I am here for you. Um, all right. So with that news just broken, and by the way, everybody keeps say, telling me all of the dishes that you they like of yours, and it just runs the gambit from crepes to burgers. I mean, people are in love with your food, so um, you. you have a lot of fans out there. Uh, so let's talk about what we're making today. We, let's talk about what you're making today, yes. and everybody can follow along either now or you can watch this tonight, or you can watch this again tomorrow and recreate this anytime you want. So uh, you're making a beet salad with honey goat cheese and fig balsamic dressing. That is correct. Featuring our tangerine olive oil and our fig balsamic. That so is I, I'm going to turn it over to you. Talk to us about this creation. Absolutely. So um, creation really came up. I, I, I used, um, used to make the beet salad before my previous life. 
um, but I, I've never seen uh, the quality of the beets that, that Templeton and the local farmers are producing. So what I would like to do is to use two different types of beets, the regular red beet as well as the golden beet. Um, I, I poach uh, the beets and I, and I will show you a quick snippet of how to do this in, in ingredients. I poach the beets in the orange juice with the tangerine oil, uh, some spices and uh, thyme and rosemary. That is exactly right. Uh, and that, that I, I'm gonna tell you, the, that tangerine oil gives a little nutty flavor, which is absolutely outstanding. It's um, our tangerine, so all of our flavored oils are oil to oil, they're not infused. So when you cook with them, you smell them more. You, it's a natural taste because it's coming from natural things. It's not some uh, chemically created flavor. So that's why it enhances and supports good cooking instead of kind of uh, affecting it negatively. It's just one of those, I mean, we can, we use our tangerine olive oil in brownies, but I also use them in, with sweet potatoes, with carrots, uh, with meat. It just elevates any kind of pot roast, uh, carnitas. So you can use it in so many different ways. And I love the idea of using it with the beets because the beets can be very earthy. So I like that, that bright citrus flavor kind of pairing up with it. And I totally agree. And, and uh, the, the good thing about the, the pairing the tangerine oil with the, the sweetness of the beets, as well as uh, what I do, and you will see that in a little bit, the, the, the naughtiness of the anise, uh, the star anise that I put as, as an uh, as a additional spice that creates a really different flavor of the beets when when they poached uh the key to the to the poaching beets is you when you put the ingredients in and you put the orange juice you don't overfill your pan you just fill it to probably about the uh medium uh so 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 the beets are covered to about the 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 medium and then you cover it tightly with the food wrap and you cover it tightly with the foil. Oh, okay. With an oven, so you create a bath. You right. literally create a steaming bath inside. Huh. Um, and you put it in the oven at 30, uh, 350 degrees for approximately an hour. And um, what I do, I set myself a reminder every 30 minutes just to be safe. Um, and I poke the beads with either a knife or a toothpick. And what you want to do is you don't want to have mushy beads because then your salad will be ruined. What you want to do is when you poke, you just want to have a little bit of uh, force, the toothpick or, or a knife going in. That's when they're ready. Okay. Okay. So, and how, what he's describing right now, you can find that whole recipe on our website. So yeah. pasolivo.com. As he's explaining, you don't have to start madly taking notes. Everything's going to be on there uh, because he's going to show how to plate, but roasting beets, as you're saying, roasting beets takes some time. So that's not something you guys want to sit through. <laughs> um, and uh, so all of that prep work has already been done so that we can see the final result. So that's what, uh, and roasting or, or yeah, roasting your beets like that, you can use for a ton of different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be specifically for this recipe, but this is a great way to bring out some really great flavors in the beets uh, for, I mean, I just love just chopping them up and, and eating them. And that's what I end up doing because I get kind of lost on what else to do. So, Absolutely. It is very, uh, very, um, you, as you mentioned, the oil is very universal. Um, and, and I love the fact that it actually, you can use it for so many different vegetables. Um, you can actually use it in the fruit salad, which I, I kind of have an idea. Um, so that would be a little close to spring or summertime, but that's definitely something universal, universally used. Yes. Oh, nice. That's a good thing. That's a fantastic tip. I would love to see how that works out because that makes sense. Um, okay, so uh, go ahead and, and walk us through putting it together. Absolutely. 
So the first thing is I have in my pen a um, few beads. I have few reds and few goldens. The size of the beads really doesn't matter. Um, and you don't peel them up front. You just take the greens off. And what you do is you take um, a half a cup of tangerine oil and you just pour it over. You take some of the spices and I have one tablespoon of uh, coriander seeds, one tablespoon of uh, whole black pepper seeds. And as I mentioned, I do have that beautiful uh, star anise that brings the, the, the sweetness and the flavor. You just sprinkle it over. And I have about three cups of orange juice. And you pour it and you put some thyme and rosemary on top of it. And as I mentioned, you, uh, you, you, you cover it with a, uh, with a plastic wrap and then you cover it with foil. Perfect. You okay. Oven, 350 degrees for approximately an hour, but check every 30 to 40 minutes just to make sure that they are not overdone. Got it. Okay. All right. While your beets are cooking, it's a perfect time to do your dressing and to do the uh, goat cheese filling. So All right. I'm, so. going to, I'm going to start with the dressing. And for that, I will use the Pasalivo uh, fig balsamic. That's, that's right. As well as I have tangerine oil. I have a third of the cup honey and one tablespoon of mustard. And what I like to do is I mix the honey and mustard and balsamic together. I whisk it until it all incorporates. And then slowly, I add the oil. You don't want to uh, dump oil at once because all it's going to do is just break uh, the dressing. So you have to add oil slowly. Huh. Learn a new thing every day, folks. That's enough. And I can tell you, I can smell those flavors of, of tangerine and fig. Balsamic, it is, it is exceptional. So as he's stirring, he mentioned the fact that there's the fig balsamic, the honey, uh, Dijon mustard, the tangerine olive oil, and then some salt and pepper is going to go in there. Uh, he's That's showing you how to do that so it will all um, mix in beautifully together and um, all kind of combine well together. I will say we do have honey uh, at the store. So if you're at the store and thinking, I'm kind of stumped on something to do tonight, you can pretty much pull together a lot of this uh, fig balsamic recipe, the dressing recipe, right there in store, either at our ranch or at the downtown store. So you could pull something together pretty similar. We don't have the Dijon. We do have four different types of mustards that are all awesome and would work well with this. So side note. <laughs> What you're looking for, if, if I can show you, this glossy, it, you really can see, but this glossy, thick consistency dressing, that's what you're kind of looking for. Beautiful. In the final product. Um, I have it ready. I made it yesterday, so I put it in the bottle. It's easy for me to put over the final salad once I'm ready. Uh, for the goat cheese dressing uh, filling, I use a half a cup, I'm sorry, a half a cup of regular heavy cream and one lot of the goat cheese. 
and I make sure that all ingredients are cold. Because if you have gold cheese at the room temperature, the dressing will come out uh, runny. Oh, okay. And as he's doing that, someone had asked about the layout. Unfortunately, thanks to Instagram, the layout is as is. I will say once we get off live and it just goes to copied onto Instagram and onto Facebook and onto our YouTube, the comments won't be there. So you'll be able to see everything a little bit better. Um, but yeah, the layout is a little wonky on Instagram, everything, everything like you won't be able to read this. This will be backwards. And yeah, we do half half. I don't, I don't make the rules. Um, you know, if I did, I'd have a place in Cabo, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's Instagram rules. So sorry. You'll, I just watch it now and then rewatch it and the comments won't be there. So you'll be able to see a little bit better. Awesome. I think. So just, just for the, the, the viewers. All right. Okay. So you are halfway through doing the goat cheese. So you've got the goat cheese and the heavy cream. I have the goat cheese, a heavy cream. Um, uh, a third of a cup of honey and a drizzle of my one of my favorite ingredients, which is brandy. Oh, hey, there you go. It's a Friday. That's right. So let's, <laughs> let's start doing this. So I, I add honey with the goat cheese and a splash or two of brandy. You can tell he's a professional because he didn't take a sip out of the bottle, folks. There you go. And professional notes right there. Stand the picture <laughs> to break it all apart. And once it's all broken, I add the heavy cream. And I whip it. Start to come together. I don't know if you can see this. But basically, it becomes very similar to your standard whipping cream. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's the consistency we're looking for is that thickness. And then I use piping bag, which if you don't know how to use it or you don't like to use it, don't. You can use a spoon, you can use uh, a little spatula. Um, the cream is very universal in terms of uh, spreading, so do anything you like. I like to use the piping bag because it, for me it is easy to control. He's got a specific piping bag. If you're kind of interested in it, but don't have that at home, uh, just a heads up that you can use a Ziploc. Uh, just kind of tilt it to the side, fill it up. He's gonna be cutting the bottom of one corner, one edge, one corner, don't cut the whole edge. Uh, so if you have a Ziploc at home, like a large size one that you can have some space up top and do exactly what he's doing, you can do that instead. You don't necessarily need to have a piping bag. Okay. So we have our dressing ready, we have our goat cheese filling ready. So what we're going to do now is start not breaking. <laughs> Stop. Start assembling. So I already have uh, beads. Uh, poached beets that I had yesterday. I peeled most of them. I did not peel one just uh, to show uh, to show everyone how easy it is to peel um, a, a poached beet. And the, the great thing about poached beets is once they come out of oven, you want to shut them. And basically what it is, is you put hot product in the ice bath. So you okay. start the cooking process 
but at the same time, it will allow you to feel the skin very easily. Huh. If it doesn't, the another trick is to use just a regular kitchen towel and put the bit under um, a cold running water and just scrub it off. Oh. That's okay. another trick. I like to use just a standard peeler and all I do is just peel off the skin. And that's all it is. And once it's all peeled, you have a beautiful golden or regular uh, red bead that now we can slice and assemble into uh, into the salad. So you're making it look really easy. Whenever I do beets, it looks like a murder scene. I just feel like there's just red and madness everywhere. I have to explain to the family that I haven't cut myself. Like it's it's it just looks dramatic, but you make it look very easy. I thank you. I try now. Here's the, <laughs> here here is the that I think some of uh, some of our viewers uh, will feel uncomfortable with, and that is using uh, mandolin. Now, I, I love to use mandolin just because it slices uh, perfect, uh, even slices. If you don't have a mandolin, or if you're afraid to use mandolin, don't. Just use a standard kitchen knife it'll be okay. The <laughs> slices will be fine uh, as, as, uh, uh, as is. And what I do is I simply, without Ooh. even pressing, I make the rounds just like that. Of, from of all bread and golden beef. Beautiful. And the slices come out nice and round. Even thickness. Now you may notice that my golden beets are actually larger inside the red beef. There's no reason to panic. <laughs> All you're gonna do is simply cut the sizes uh, of the golden beads in half and decorate plate the way you like it. Perfect. So we have our beautiful beads poached with fasolivo oil. We have our dressing made with fasolivo tangerine oil and big uh, balsamic. And uh, we have the gold cheese filling. So the final product what I like to do is start assembling by putting one of each color, just you have a red, filled with a little bit of gold cheese. That looks beautiful. And again, as you can see, some of the big sizes are not even so. I'll just going to cut them in half. And I'm going to use the half and place it with the even side, with the cut side on inside of the salad. So when you put your dressing, you don't really see that it was cut.
This is beautiful. This is definitely something that's going to wow your anybody who it is presented to. Just beautiful colors, great flavors. Uh, I love how it's all pulled together. I like that, the dark and the light. Uh, any difference in flavors between the the dark and the the the? Yes. So your reds will have more of the um. I want to say more of the earthiness and 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 but yet sweetness to them. Orange ones will have a little bit of the fruitiness to them. Oh, nice. Okay, so they, they balance each other out well. Absolutely. And again, the, the, the great thing about the poach them with the, and this is what I found just a few days ago when I poached the beet. The beautiful thing about using that oil is because it is a tangerine, it actually brings the flavors in of both beets into one kind of a trot, even tropical uh, uh, flavor, which is nice. really outstanding. So for the final touch, what I'd like to do is just leave one of the pieces and place that underneath it. Okay? And then, if you want to decorate the middle, you put a little bit of a dressing and you put just a few slices of beets in the middle. And for the final touch, I'm going to use the dressing that I made. Just go a little bit over from outside to inside. And a little bit of microgreens to finish it off. And there you have a beet salad with... Wow, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I was really interested to see how you're going to interact with the goat cheese, adding that the heavy cream to it, adding the honey to it, but that smooth, creamy quality. I mean, that I'm any dairy I'm all over and especially goat cheese. So that that's just that looks phenomenal. Thank you so much for that. I think that's going to be recreated a lot during the month of February, especially Valentine's Day. That's a perfect start to a Valentine's meal. Um, I would I it looks like something that would be okay with with a, a bubbly. Would that be an okay thing to pair up Absolutely. with a bubbly? Absolutely. Yes. It will be wonderful. We actually do have um, a couple of uh, sweet bubblies. One of them is um, 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 uh, one of them is rosé, which is which is um, uh, on the sweet side. So it'll 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 definitely be uh, paired very well with that salad. I totally agree with you. That's a very good call, Eleanor. Yay! It's rubbing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for this. I mean, the the fact that uh, we have you at Fingers to you know to be able to come and visit and eat your uh, foods and be able to be part of this passion that you have. I, I we're just we're lucky. We're the Central Coast has got yet another fantastic chef. I think we are just. I mean, we just we just like keep you guys because we just love you so much. And the fact that you're working with local stuff, it just makes sense because we do have some beautiful local product products and you're making you're elevating it even further when it's already good to begin with so thank you so much for showing us how to do that my um, pleasure thank you Eleanor, for having me it was thank you for your time um so can you do you have the address off the top of your head of where yep. 15 so is? our address is 622 uh 624 south main street um suite 101 but we're it's a, a two-story building we're on the bottom uh on the bottom uh floor um, in Templeton. And uh, like, you know, like I said before, uh, the outdoor dining is open. We have feeders, we have 
a beautiful fireplace, beautiful lighting. We actually have, which I haven't mentioned, we do have um, a coffee shop as well. It's a 50, it's a 15 C coffee, uh, which is uh, open uh, um, the same days as we open for business Tuesday through Saturday, and we open at 7:30. Oh, wow! And the coffee doesn't stop until we close. Oh my goodness! And you're open from seven thirty all the way through, or do you have some break? We open times? no. We open at seven thirty through the rest of the day. Wow. Okay. And, and when do you once, guys close? Once the, once the weather gets gets warmer, we actually are uh, going to add another day. We're going to be open on Monday. And, I mean, uh, we you know we're serving uh, all of your uh, you know wonderful americanos and and cappuccinos and lattes, and we have a beautiful uh, pastries that we uh, currently uh, buy from um, Back Porch Bakery here mm -hmm. in uh, Atascadero, which are, um, you know, outstanding quality. So we have it all. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, you can be there for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There you go. I, I'd say families, anybody with kids, Go there, grab some coffee, grab some pastries, walk the kids over to the park, have them play in the playground, get their wiggles out, sit back, listen to music, grab a book, and then come on back and head there for lunch and Absolutely. have a completely different experience than you did for the breakfast part. I mean, and it's well, a win-win. Actually, uh, you know, to touch base on the, on the breakfast side, every Saturday I am uh, doing crates. I've heard about the crepes. I've yeah, heard so how amazing they are. We have and brunch together, so we're serving, we're serving coffee as well as mimosas with crepes. Oh, okay. Well, that happens to be my password um, for everything in life is mimosas. So I'll, I'll be there. I'm okay. packing my bags right now. <laughs> Sounds great. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I, I think everybody's ecstatic to have you here in the Central Coast and... 15 C guys go check it out you can buy wine he's what was the february deal again 20 percent off we have 20 percent off on all to go foods and we have 20 percent off uh on all if you buy a case or more of wines and it goes for entire month of february Yes. Okay. We need this in our lives. February is going to be the jump start of 2021. January was a test run. We didn't really do super well with January. February is where it really starts. And that's when right. it's going to go hard. So go to 15C, get discounts, enjoy and grab a case of wine while you're at it because and take it to the park. Just kidding. I don't know if that's legal, but if it, if it were, take it to the park and enjoy it. Share it with all the people. Um, thank you so much for your time today, Chef. I will return you back to uh, the adoring customers that you'll have for the rest of the day. Uh, I'm going to cover what we're talking about next week. And again, guys, if you want that recipe, I know you want that recipe. The recipe is on pasolivo.com. Thank you, Chef. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great much. weekend. Bye bye. So next week, guys, we have a we have another fantastic setup for you. Uh, so we use the fig balsamic today. We use the tangerine olive oil. I would venture to say you could definitely use our honey, our mustards for the the salad dressing, the fig balsamic salad dressing. So there's a bunch of things that you can bundle up together use as your club shipment, use it as a gift for somebody and then send them the link to this so that they can, can create this in their own home. I know we can't actually go visit a lot of people. So this is a perfect way to reach out and send some love, some Valentine's love to somebody. This is a fantastic Valentine's little package to send to somebody, family, friends, just people you miss and want to say, hey, you're still in my heart, even though I haven't seen you in a year, literally. <laughs> All right. So Next week, we are going to be working with Blast and Brew. Everybody who has been to downtown Paso knows Blast and Brew. It is that beautiful building right on the corner there that has perfect outside seating. So if you have a dog, it's a great place to go hang out. And they're the ones that you get the little card and you can go and do all the different types of beer and wine tasting you want and you just pay for whatever you poured. They're a genius spot. Uh, they also have fantastic food. They are going to be making a, an, a chicken and avocado salad featuring a vinaigrette made with our hot pepper berry bacon jam. 
Nobody has used this yet, and it's probably because it's standalone. You could just eat it out of the jar. But I'm ecstatic to put it into salad because it makes me feel like I'm doing something healthy instead of what I usually do with it, which is put it on goat cheese and then put it in my mouth. So this is a hot pepper berry bacon jam. This is going to be used next week along with our beloved Cucina extra virgin olive oil. You know it, you love it. This is, I always call it the Chardonnay of our extra virgin olive oil tasting because it's just so easy. It's easy to work with, easy to bake with. We are making, they are making a vinaigrette with these two. So this is a bundle you can pull together. You can do the bundle for this week and next week together for a club shipment. So Anastasia Martinez, who is the general manager, assistant general manager at Blast and Brew is going to be joining up with their chef and they're going to be showing us how to make a beautiful chicken avocado salad with our hot pepper, pepper berry bacon jam, say that five times fast, and our cucina olive oil. So bacon, avocado, chicken, what could go wrong, right? All right, I will see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the sun while it's out. Make sure that you have dried out your rain boots because <laughs> they're so big. And um, we will see you next week, which is February already. And we know about February. Apparently there's discounts. So um, February the 5th too. this time next week. I'll see you then. Bye guys.